Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about our first look at Supergirl on the set, because Canada Graphs has amazingly took some photos from the set in Vancouver, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so a lot of videos coming up. So tonight we have The Flash returning. We're going to be releasing that. That's going to be the next video after this Supergirl video. And then following the next day, we've got Superman Lois, Episode 2. We're going to be reviewing that in the afternoon. And then also right after that, we're going to have a Flash Episode 2 trailer breakdown for Season 7. So you're really not going to want to miss out. So make sure to have notifications turned on so you don't miss any of those videos. So yes, Supergirl Season 6, we've got our first official set photos from the set on location. Because if you guys didn't know... They weren't shooting on location for a long time, like, they went to a college, I think, once, and they did, like, some mid -vale flashback stuff outside, but apart from that, and a few other things, they've barely been into downtown Vancouver, where they normally do most of their big, kind of, stunt stuff, where you see Supergo on the street, fighting off against bad guys, well, this is the first time they've done this, this season, and I think they were mainly waiting for Melissa, but anyway, so this comes from Canada Graph, so go check out his blog post, because that's going to be coming out in the next few days. He luckily gave me the photos early and gave me some information so I could make the video, which is amazing. So big thanks to Canada Graphs. Follow him on Twitter as well whilst you wait for the blog to go up. And I'm sure there's going to be more photos than just the ones you see in this video. But yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So what can we see in these photos and what is exciting about it? Well, the most exciting thing is this is our first official look at Melissa as Supergirl in the new season on location. So the only looks we've had at Melissa this season, which confirmed she didn't have bangs or anything, and we'll get into that in a minute, was from some behind the scenes videos that were very low quality. But they were still really exciting. We did break them down recently. You can go scroll back and you'll find it just like a few weeks ago because we talked about them and basically it gave us a little insight because Melissa was back and she was shooting with the main cast, which obviously is happening right now. But when she returned in January, she was actually catching up and mainly filming by herself with a separate crew. But anyway, so we heard the other day that they were going to be on location. They were going to be shooting some stuff for Supergo outside. I think in downtown Vancouver, I could totally be wrong about that, but I'm supposing it is. And so, as you can see from Canada Graphs' photos, right here you can see Melissa is on set, filming for the first time, on location, and she has no bangs. Now, that is the biggest thing I think you can take away from this, apart from the fact that it's super exciting that we get our first look at Melissa as Supergirl. I think that is obviously the most exciting thing, and I can't believe we're talking about it. We've waited so long. But it's finally happening. And yeah, so, I mean, if we're analysing the images, yes, Melissa has no bangs. The hairstyle is the Season 2 and Season 1 and Season 3 hair. The original hairstyle that Supergirl always sported. Obviously, recently we had the change to the bangs, but that was just like a personal choice. So, I never said anything against it, but I'm going to admit, it's pretty cool to see the original hairstyle back because it is the last season and it's quite nostalgic. But what else can we take away from this awesome photo from Canada Graphs of Melissa Benoist on set as Supergirl and as Kara? Well, you can see that her hair is normal, there is no brown hair. Obviously, that was a thing that we had before they started shooting again because over the break, obviously, Melissa wasn't dying her hair. I think it's actually advised against it if you are pregnant, so maybe that was part of the reason. So we were wondering, is she going to look completely different? Like, is she going to keep her normal, natural hair? Because if you didn't know, Melissa Benoist's normal hair is in fact brown, and she dyes her hair blonde for Supergirl. Well, this and those other videos pretty much confirm, yes, she is back to her normal hair colour, which is kind of like a nice mix between blonde and brown. And so, also what we can take from this photo is she is wearing the exact same suit as last season. Doesn't seem like there is any changes, and I think it's very unlikely that we're going to get any changes in this last season, because I think they're just really happy with this suit and they're going to stick with it. So, yeah, that's what we can kind of analyse from this first photo. And so, also on set with Melissa was David Harewood. You can see in this photo right here, he is walking to the location, I think, or, you know, walking around the location. And so, both of those two cast members were on set, so I think David and Melissa were the only major cast members filming during the scene. And so, we don't know much about what's going on. However, we do have some details, and we'll get to that in a minute, but you can see 
David in this photo, which is a really good photo by the way, and he is suited up in the Martian Manhunter suit. Obviously they're all wearing masks because they aren't actually filming as of right now, so like I said, it's between takes. And so we have another photo of Melissa right here. This one wasn't released online, so thank you to Canada Grouse for sending it to me. So we see her, she's just standing here, obviously this is when they are prepping to start filming, and you can see basically most of her Supergirl suit in this. And it's exactly the same, her hair is normal, and basically there's nothing much we can take away apart from, yes, Supergirl is gonna look the same, but she's gonna have no bangs. And I just am really, really excited. I can't wait for Supergirl to come back. And seeing set photos is like the next best thing, like before we get trailers and promos and stuff. We talked about that the other day, they dropped a Stargirl promo randomly. So potentially, just maybe, with the Flash airing tonight, they may drop something to do with Supergirl because Stargirl isn't airing until the summer and we're guessing that Supergirl is gonna air around the same time. So what's to say that they can't edit together a little promo and tease Supergirl coming back this summer on the CW? Like, I think they're gonna do that at some point and we were expecting our first kind of teases sometime in March and it's currently March, well the start of March right now. So keep your hopes up, maybe we'll see some stuff very soon, but for now this is the best we're gonna get and it is awesome seeing Melissa back as Supergirl. Okay, so the details as to the scene they were filming during the set day. So we know nothing about what actually went on with Melissa and David in the scene because they were in a locked off location and luckily Canada Grouse was able to get some photos, obviously between takes. But we have some information as to what else is happening. So there is this other photo that we have right here. And you can see there is a few guys coming out of a truck. And so in this scene that was being shot, there is a bunch of people, apparently like five or six people in baby blue shirts. So you can see one of the guys here. And there is two other people walking off the frame. And so they have jackets and they're getting dropped off. And there is also apparently an NCPD officer, so a National City Police Department officer. So what is happening here? Now we have this other photo as well to go along with this. We have the stunt doubles for Melissa and David, so for Supergirl and Martian Manhunter, they were both on set and they only bring on the stunt doubles to the set if there is a fighting scene or there's some sort of stunt. So there is obviously some sort of stunt going on during the scene that they were shooting. So my guess is that the guys who you see right here on the screen right now with the baby blue t-shirts and the jackets, also along with the NCPD officer, are fighting Supergirl and Martian Manhunter. Now it would seem a bit weird why they would be fighting a police officer, but I don't know who these other people are and it seems like they may be criminals because them having the same kind of clothing definitely suggests there's some sort of gang or something, like they're all teamed up together and maybe they are aliens or maybe, you know, they're just normal criminals and they are fighting off against Supergirl Martian Manhunter who have been made aware of a situation going down at this one specific location and so they come in, they fight them and that's why you have Melissa and David's stunt doubles there. So I don't think it's just like a civilized scene where there is some chit chat and that's it, they're just going to be talking to these people. No, because they have their stunt doubles there, that means something is going down. So I'm excited to see what this scene turns out to be like. I'm not sure what specific episode this is from, but it's sometime later in the season. Probably around episode 10, because they're about halfway through the season nearly. But it seems like something is definitely going down with what they were shooting. Also, it must be noted, Canada Graph said this is the exact same place where those first look photos of Superman in the night was shot. So I don't know if that is to be taken into account. So there's a possibility that this is supposed to be a different location, but they just use the same place. So they've done that many times where they just redress something and they pretend it's something new, even though they're just going back to the same place they filmed like a few seasons before or another show filmed there. And so you kind of recognize it, but there is also the chance that this is supposed to be the same location as that place in Superman and Lois. So what happens if this is supposed to be Metropolis? Now that would be interesting because I don't believe Superman and Lois will go to National City anytime soon on that show. So if it is supposed to be the same location, I'm guessing it's Metropolis, right? So what happens if Supergirl is in Metropolis with Martian Manhunter and they're taking down these people? However, the only thing that goes against that is the National City Police Officer 
However, I don't know why he's with these potential gang members, that's what I'm just calling them as of right now. So maybe he's been kidnapped, and maybe that was the reason why Supergirl turns up. I'm not 100% sure, I'm just spitballing ideas right here, but yeah, that is about it. So there might be some more set photos coming very, very soon, because now Melissa's back and she's on set, and they can actually go back to these locations out in public and do these big fight scenes. We should be seeing more and more. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy the video, and if it did help you out. Please be sure to subscribe if you're new. And turn on notifications to not miss any videos, you especially don't want to miss anything right now because DC TV is back, the Arrowverse is back with The Flash tonight, along with Superman Lois's episode 2. So if you can, please be sure to stay up, watch The Flash, and then after The Flash airs, I'm going to be releasing my review like an hour after or something like that, so be on the lookout, and then the next day following, we will be dropping our Superman Lois review sometime early afternoon UK time. And then shortly after that in the evening in the UK time, we're going to drop a Flash Episode 2 trailer breakdown for Season 7. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see